A state without a means of some change is without the means of its own conservation. Give us Ndokwa states. Mr. President, the National Assembly and the State Houses of Assembly across the 36 state of Nigeria, before you leave office in 2023, give us Ndokwa states. This call is the most important demand of the Ndokwa nation. This is the reasonable demand of a people so miserably marginalized in the socio-economic affairs of Delta states. A people cheated, debased, rejected, and opposed at all fronts of her existentialism. That we are considered too remote to be respected and given our rightful place in Delta State is the reason for this demand. Whilst we remain the economic backbone of Delta States and the population nerve center, we suffer untold hardship in the hands of the tribes that produce the executive governor of the states. We suffer a second half from the federal government that would not appoint sons and daughters of Ndokwa into NDDC or the other federal parastatas, despite all our efforts. We need Ndokwa states to exercise our right as a people, manage our own affairs, develop our own social cultural hegemony, and create wealth and prosperity for our people. Our resources are currently being used to develop other areas of Delta State except Ndokwa land, while we bear the brunt of pollution and the diverse hazards that comes with oil exploration. Whilst we are not violent driven, we want you to take this seriously as every Indokwa man and woman is fed up with this current structure that marginalizes her. Our representatives and leaders in government from Undokwa extraction will not tell you this for the fear of conserving their political career, a gross betrayer of their respective constituency, I must say. But we the people say, give us Ndokwa states. This is perhaps the only hope we've got to resuscitate Ndokwa land, build the broken walls, reclaim our land and coastal fortitude and dream with our own people again. My people of Ndokwa land, I see our dreams come true. I see jubilation in Ndokwa land from the hills of Etwa down to the rivers of Abo Kingdom and stretch through the serenities of Obiaruku, Kwale, Amai, Emu, Abi, down to Beneku and the rest of the vast kingdom of Ndokwa land. Let every Ndokwa man and woman pursue this dream as it drops in their spirit. For the collective aggregates of this fate will cause a cosmic shift for the emergence of justice. When we dream to contend together and proclaim our destiny, we stir up the cosmic administration of the universe to cause a change in the stratosphere to cultivate our God-given advantage, to nourish our dreams and bring them to fruition. Your whole life is about to change in Dokwa. Take this message down to your quarters. Tell the village heads, we have a dream. Wake that man asleep and tell him that the eagle has landed and now is the day of restoration. Now is the day of redemption. That with this faith, we can build a new Ndokwa where justice and peace will reign. Where Ndokwa man is a king and not a slave. With this faith, we can call forth our own right to live. We can decree our existential terms and it will come to pass. With this faith, we speak. With this faith, we join hands and pray together and we call forth peace, prosperity, blessings, and growth. We tell the Almighty that we stood patiently in the mix of injustice, marginalization, and inequity. All this why? Because we believe in Him and humanity. So we say again, give us Ndokwa State. I 
shall go to rabbi again.